Assalamu alaikum. Friends, welcome back to my channel, The Faithful Academy. We are a homeschooling family. As a family, we are reading the series, The Prophets of Allah, Volume 2. In this video, we are doing the story of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, Part 3. Great news for Ibr Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. Allah gave Prophet Ibrahim salam the great news that he was going to have a child who was to become a prophet. Prophet Ibrahim salam and Sarah traveled to many places and told many people about the one true God, Allah. The king of Egypt found out that they were kind and noble people. When they were leaving Egypt, the king gave them many things. He also asked Hajar, an Egyptian lady, to go with them. Many years passed and still Prophet Ibrahim salam and Sarah had no children. He was more than 80 years old when Sarah told him to marry Hajar so that they may have a child. Soon Prophet Ibrahim salam and his wife Hajar had a beautiful baby. They called him Ismail. The baby was still very small when Ibrahim salam told Hajar that Allah has commanded him to take her and Ismail salam to a place called Mecca in Arabia. He was to leave them alone. Although Prophet Ibrahim salam did not understand why, he obeyed Allah's command. He left them in the valley of Mecca and started to go back to Palestine. Hajar was not afraid. She believed that Allah was going to provide for them and keep them safe. After Prophet Ibrahim salam walked over the hill and could no longer see them, he turned toward the valley and prayed, O oh, our Lord, I have left some of my offspring to live in the valley of Mecca, fill the hearts of some people there with love for them and feed them with fruits so that they will give thanks. Then Prophet Ibrahim salam went back to Palestine. In a short time, all of their water was gone. The precious little baby was hungry and thirsty. He began to cry and cry. Hajar ran back and forth between the hills Marwa and Safa, praying to Allah for help. Right beside the baby, water flowed from the ground. Birds saw that Allah had provided water there and they came to drink. Soon travelers saw the birds flying over the valley and they came and settled. Many years later, when Prophet Ibrahim salam returned to Mecca, he found, to his surprise, that many people had come to live there. Allah had taken care of Hajar and Ismail salam, as Prophet Ibrahim salam knew he would. While in Mecca, Prophet Ibrahim salam dreamt that Allah had ordered him to sacrifice Ismail salam. Prophet Ibrahim salam loved his son very much, but most of all he wanted to please Allah. Ismail salam was now old enough to work with his father. Ibrahim salam decided to tell him about the dream. He said, O oh my son, I saw in a dream that I am to offer you in sacrifice. Ismail salam believed in the one great God. He said, O oh my father, do what Allah has ordered. You will find that I am patient and faithful. Father and son both wanted to obey Allah. Ismail salam laid face down and just as Prophet Ibrahim salam raised up the sharp knife, he heard a voice. Allah said, Stop! O Ibrahim, you obeyed the order from your dream. Allah then told him to sacrifice a lamb instead. When Prophet Ibrahim salam returned to Palestine, the angel of Allah told him that he was going to have another son named Ishaq salam. 
Prophet Ibrahim السلام, and his wife Sarah were now very old. She said, Shall I have a child? I am an old woman. This is indeed a wonderful thing. Ishaq السلام, also became a prophet. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining and reading along with us the story of Ibrahim السلام, part 3. Don't forget to subscribe and watch our next video, The Story of Prophet Ibrahim Alayhi Salam, Part 4. Assalamu alaikum.